Welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. Today you find us in the R44 workshop with some cool parts and a cool car. So we've got an M3 G80 in satin black, which looks crazy, coming in for some CSF cooling packages. So this car is completely stock, well, it's got an aftermarket exhaust and a few mods, but it's stock power. And the customer just wants to improve longevity, performance on long road trips, maybe some track days some fun that he's gonna have with the car. So he's opted for a transmission cooler, which you can see here, it's got pre-installed mesh guards so you can protect it. Unlike the standard one, it is ready to take a big stone and pop and a heat exchanger. Again, CSF have gone the extra mile and provided two mesh guards. And then you don't need one here because this is where the crash bar goes, but top and bottom's protected. So if you run a big grill, it's ready for your stones. This will take the stone and it won't damage the core of the heat exchanger or the tr transmission cooler. Two reasons why you might want to do this. Again, if you're using your car properly and you want to reduce the kind of temperatures of the engine transmission, these are over 120% bigger in viscosity of the internals. As well, if you have got an OEM one that's taken a rock, it might have damaged, you might have a problem. BMW want to charge you crazy money for one of these, whereas you can grab a CSF one, better cooling, better performance, better style, and then obviously the added benefit of the rock guard. But let's get into it. We're gonna do a little cool, cool time lapse now. So we're just gonna strip the car. It's a very big job. Of course, we only use the original fluids. So you've got original transmission fluid, original um, long lifetime coolant. So that's gonna go in the car. We'll, we'll drain the car and then fill it all back up again. Um, run it through, test it. It's a big process. So we don't normally do it, but um, yeah, let's see what we can do. Done as you've just seen, it was quite cool. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. That was me and Aldrin, our head kind of tech here. We wrapped this car pretty quickly, we stripped it all the way down, changed the radiator and transmission, cooler, and then refreshed all the fluids. Actually, this one was a really weird car, it actually had a bit of a weird color to the coolant, so we drained the whole thing and re 
everything's in all fresh, done a nice road test. We do a lot of road testing after doing the full cooling change, it's quite important. Uh, keep your engine cool. Uh, but overall, you can't beat this spec. It's a GAE M3 in satin black. It's an actual satin black car, so it's a frozen individual car with satin EPF on it. As you can see, previously installed a full Venturi intake, engine cover, Hexon brakes. This is an Armour Speed uh, carbon kind of stand cover, is what they're called. Um, but yeah, so overall, the guys just kind of, this customer of ours is quite cool guy. We actually put the RPX brake pads on as well, the blue stuff on the rear. So we kind of gearing this car up slowly probably for next summer when he goes to a stage two map um the actually ecu is actually unlocked already uh, so he's got those going on but this customer just likes to take his time get it right and then he'll map it and enjoy it properly but guys and girls i hope you enjoyed this make sure you check out your csf parts they're really good value for money once they're installed they do help i've, I've got them on my m3 touring the g8 m3 g8 m3 is running about a thousand horsepower M3 Touring, 800 horsepower, and then our M2 uh, G87, which is stock, but still running all the cooling, just to make sure that when we get on track, we can push it with no limits. Um, and yeah, that's it. Get shopping today, and we'll see you tomorrow.